Hi and welcome. In this uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you how I like to use um, Adobe Illustrator to create custom shapes that I can use in Adobe Photoshop. So um, you might ask um, if you know anything about Photoshop um, that you can make custom shapes in Photoshop um, with a combination of um, pen tools and some other uh, shape type tools uh, in there. They're relatively limited, I, I think. Um, <clears throat> you can also use sort of the, uh, uh, the, the, the uh, pencil tool, I believe, so you can make more organic shapes in there, but it, it doesn't quite work the way that I want it to work. And so um, I've come up a with a way that I, I like, and it seems to work reasonably well, so I want to show it to you. So um, in Adobe Illustrator, I'm using the um, blob brush, so I've created a 5x5 five five inch, and I don't think I'll use the whole 5x5 five five inches here, but um, I'm going to go ahead and open this up and uh, open the blob brush here. I've got the blob brush set at, I believe, 3. Let's double love, double check that. Love using the blob brush. I've got it set at 3 points and a variation in um, of 3 points using pressure so that when I draw my, uh, my pen, when I press harder, it will get um, a wider brush uh, and then when I ease up on the pressure, it will make it, um, you know, a thinner brush. So I get that thick and thin kind of brush look that I love. And I've also set this fidelity to just under uh, perfectly smooth. So it kind of um, uh, smooths out the lines and gives me fewer um, vector points, which makes for a, a smaller file size as well. So um, that's one of the settings that I like to use. So let's go here. Let's say, okay. And I'm just going to draw. I'm just going to come up with something here and just draw it and uh, just a doodle actually um, and I'm gonna just do something like maybe a man on the moon kind of a deal um, yeah let's let's do something like this whoops I don't want to get too picky here I could because I'm really trying to just <clears throat> mostly teach the uh, show you how I make these custom shapes so I gotta not be my anal self and be too crazy with this. Okay, and uh, let's just put, uh, let's see. Let me see here. You know what, let's, let's, let's keep it like that. Let's go here with something like that. And then I think I'm gonna take this, um, well, no, I'll just go ahead and, and create some more detail here. So you can see that if you use custom shapes at all in Photoshop, <clears throat> that um, you know, the typical way to use them is, is a logo or a graphic or a frame or a, you know, like a heart shape or something very, very simple and solid. And that, that is a great way to use it, uh, to use shapes in Photoshop if you need them for that. Uh, I'm getting a little wonky here with my lines. Uh, if, let me see if I turn this thing a little bit, if that'll help. I'm drawing on a drawing tablet here. So I just want to get something close enough so that I've got a, a shape to work with. Okay, so now that I've got that, I'm going to grab it. And I will turn it a little bit here. Okay, looks pretty good. Um, so now I'm going to uh, select it all and using the... Um, Pathfinder tool, I'm going to unite, use the unite uh, command there and click it so it's all united. So it's one one piece. They're all, all the points are connected, so not individual strokes. So now that we have that, I'm simply going to copy it. Command C on a Mac. I'm using a Mac. Um, and then I've opened Photoshop art here on this other screen and, and created a file uh, for it. And so I'm going to just paste it in there. Command V, paste. And I'm going to paste it as a shape layer. So now that I've pasted it as a shape layer, it takes the color of your latest um, whatever you had in your in your uh, as your fill color there as a shape. So now we have that shape color, and so now I can um, play around with this in uh, the. So I'll go back to the layers. I've got this shape. Let's close up the path. You can see there that we had a, as a path. It comes in as a as a path or a shape um, in Photoshop. So if I double click on this, I can literally change the color. So it's really, really handy, and it's a nice, clean drawing there, right? So, you know, essentially what I can do is um, I can, you know, 
put an, a layer below it. And notice, let's zoom in really, really close on this thing really fast here. Let's go about right here. Um, it, well, it's showing pixels because in Photoshop it's it's the screen drawing of it, um, and I'm at 400% of resolution um, on on the uh, on the screen here. So um, that's why you're, it looks pixelated. But actually, this is razor sharp. It's a vector, and so now you've got a really graphic you know vector that now I can combine with anything I want to do. So I've got my vector moon right here, and um, I've got anything I want to do on this layer, I can do in pixels, so I can do some soft stuff. So just for you know, a quick example, I'm going to just grab a color you know, that is probably close to maybe the moon color and show you what I can do here. So I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. And uh, I can go in and I can, I don't have my, uh, <clears throat> I have this on a different screen, but if I, if I, uh, I can pull it down onto my display that I paint with, but I'm just going to just use my mouse here just to show you the principle of it. So I've got this really rough pixel type brush and I'm able to come in here and create the combination of pixel stuff, you know, with um, this nice, really razor sharp vector. And, you know, I can play around with it in, in any way that I would normally, you know, mess with um, and paint with brushes in Photoshop and I still get um, this nice um, you know vector on top of it so I really love this thing the other cool thing uh, that I can do is I can come here with this shape if I wanted to I'm gonna turn this off now and I can use that shape and now I can create another layer and put that layer on top of it okay so I've got the, the my shape right here on this layer and on top of it I got another layer and with that layer I'm going to create a clipping mask um, and now I can basically paint through with with this rough brush I can paint you know using a rough brush but I've got this really cool graphic you know solid razor sharp kind of graphic thing going on and I can I can paint inside the graphic so the combination of the two you can create some really neat stuff um, let's see if I change this so you can see the difference here let me just uh, adjust the color so just to separate it out so that you can see it a little bit better what you can what you can do and so you can see there that you know I've got these this razor sharp edge filled with you know some texture kind of stuff and then I'm also painting underneath the texture and so you can really get some organic uh, combination of organic and very graphic um, vector uh, type uh, illustration and pixel based illustration using Adobe Photoshop so, um, you know, what I really love about this is that I can draw much better vector, you know, my loose kind of uh, vector drawings in um, Adobe Illustrator. And then I bring those in and I can use them and save the shape because now it's, a, it's essentially, it, it is a shape here in uh, Photoshop. Um, and I hope it shows up here. Sometimes there's been a little, I've had a little bit of, bit of a bug. Yeah, for some reason it's it's not showing up here, but I do have the shape here, and um, and I'll have to figure out you know why it's not showing up in my. I created a new folder, so that's the only issue. But it automatically saves it as a shape in um, uh, Adobe uh, Photoshop, and so I can use it over and over again. I can you know you know essentially right now even though it's not showing up up there, I can grab this shape and I can just basically duplicate it anyway. Uh, by selecting it and you know dragging it, now I've got another I've got another shape there. So I can use this shape over and over again um, for various things. So you know if I were doing some really cool repeating pattern stuff that I wanted to combine vector and you know um, pixel type stuff together as a pattern or whatever, I can do it all in Photoshop once I you know create my black and white or my shape uh, type things in Adobe Illustrator. So anyway, um, I hope you uh, enjoy this. I hope you can use this uh, for something. I use it for all kinds of things um, uh, that I, you know, want to combine the two uh, styles of art. You know, the vector hard edge stuff and graphic stuff with pixel based stuff, and it works really well for me. Um, give it a shot and uh, let me know uh, what you think. Uh, please comment below and uh, you know give me your feedback on it. But uh, it's something I really. Uh, find useful and I hope you do as well. Um, thanks for watching uh, this little uh, video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.